Salutations everyone, my name is Gwen and welcome to an Eccentrics Hobby Closet. My friends, it is finally here. My third and last installment of turning Strawberry Shortcake characters into witches. Instead of the three characters I've been doing in the last two videos, this one has four. So I'm just going to get right to it. No more distractions, let's go! So if you've already seen my two previous Strawberry Shortcake videos, you already know this step of me trying to uh, do concept designs uh, for the characters. Uh, right now I'm, I'm working on Raspberry Tort, Blueberry Muffin, and Lemon Meringue. Um, you may remember that I ended up using one of my designs for Ginger Snap and switching it over to Plum Pudding because I felt like it fit her personality pretty well. Um, raspberry Tort came pretty naturally, uh, but Blueberry Muffin and Lemon Meringue I had a hard time with, and at the end of this section I don't think I even ended up really using these designs. I, I definitely like drew inspiration from them, but I ended up changing them again in the end to try, try to suit their personalities more. So I started off with Raspberry Tort. Uh, I wanted her to be pretty energetic, uh, based off of the wiki. Like she's, you know, fairly sporty and energetic. So you know, she kind of has a bit of a shorter dress that, you know, she's not as hindered by uh, big fluffy skirts and stuff. Uh, she has a under the chin strap for her hat. Because kind of like Huckleberry Pie, I kind of assume like the two of them probably do like broomstick riding races and stuff. So she has like gloves and all sorts of stuff. Um, she was pretty, pretty quick and easy. So I actually ended up doing Blueberry Muffin twice because there was a decent break between when I did Raspberry Tour and when I started doing these last three characters. And a fun fact, when you don't work on a project for a little bit and possibly get distracted with other projects that involve drawing and you find new tools that you like, your art styles tends to change a little bit. So I had to go back and rewatch like some of my old videos, which by the way, I do not enjoy doing, uh, to try to like figure out like what brushes I used and what my technique was and things like that because things can change in a few months. But I'm happy with where Blueberry Muffin ended up in the end. Uh, I switched out the dress that I had for like this pinafore outfit, you know, because she's a little bit more studious. So I tried to give her like a more studious looking outfit and she has a stack of books and I wanted her to be reading a book, but I didn't want to draw another hand. So I was like, haha, magic. Uh, I believe the like the lifestyle of the artist is to try to find like goofy little shortcuts like that. Like I said, I, I had a hard time with uh, with lemon meringue, uh, and I was still kind of trying to figure out the the style again still, and I couldn't quite get her uh, outfit down. But I I I got there eventually. I wanted to give her like this very. Uh, feminine little dress uh because uh, according to the wiki like she's very stylish uh and that's sort of like where a lot of her interests lie i was having a hard time with her palette because uh it's very yellow and yellow is not exactly my favorite so i tried to break it up with some greens and blues and stuff i like how she turned out in the end uh i think she she looks pretty pretty sweet and uh uh i think it ended up working out Plum Pudding came the fastest to me, uh, you know, uh, she's another studious one, she's more focused on science, I love the color palette, like, it was just very easy to, once when I was back on track with how I wanted to draw things. And fun fact, when Plum Pudding was first introduced, she was actually a boy, but then like a year or two following after that uh, was kind of cut out from the series and then came back as a girl and has been a girl up until the most recent cartoon series. But uh, I love her. I think she's my favorite. Despite all the difficulties that I had with this group, I think they turned out pretty well. I like their designs a lot. Uh, I think their personalities come through pretty well. And I think that uh, 
they go along with the uh, the other six that I've already done. And that's it. That is all of them. Uh, ten strawberry shortcake characters in a cute little group of witchy friends. Um, this was this was a lot of fun for some of the troubles that I've had and for how and even though I kind of procrastinated a few times on this project, I'm glad I did it. I think they're all they're all really cute. Um, and I might actually come back to these designs. Like maybe I'll do other illustrations and stuff with them. Uh, please let me know in the comments if that's something that you would like to see. Uh, let me know who your favorite design is. I'm sorry if I did not get to your favorite Strawberry Shortcake character. However, there are just so many Strawberry Shortcake characters and there was just no way I was going to be able to get to them all. But I'm glad that I did the ones that I did. I think this is a fairly solid group of friends. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. I do a lot of art videos, but I'm hoping to do other things in the future. And until next time, take care of yourselves and do the things that you love to do the most. Bye bye